Okay guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how I do a Kylie Jenner inspired look. It's very, hmm, what would you say, kind of natural, very, you could do this every day if you wanted and obviously it's not going to be the exact colors but I think I got pretty close and I think this is a really pretty look that anyone can do. So I hope you like it. So I'm going to take that bronzer and then just use it to lightly contour my face a little bit. I'm going to start right here at the top of my ear and then go down just like that. And I'm using this big fluffy bronzer brush because I don't want it too defined and I want it to soften out. So I'm just doing that, adding a little bit more and then I'm going to put it right here on the sides, tops of my forehead to blend that in. And then I'm doing down here because I don't want there to be a different color from my neck and my jaw because I hate when that happens. And I'm just going to do the other side. So I'm just going to take this white uh, angled brush, fluffy brush from MAC, it's 168 and I'm going to take the color blunt and just use it to darken it up right here and just add a little bit more contour. I don't want to do a lot because in the picture that I'm using as a guide for the Kylie Jenner look, she doesn't really have it that dark and it's not too much so I'm just going to put it right here at the tips. And then just blend it out. And that's it for the bronzer. I'm just going to take this blush brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to use that color Warm Soul, which is one of my favorites, and put it on the apples of my cheeks. It's not a very harsh color, it's not very bright, but it's so pretty. It's very natural looking and I love it. Y'all should go get it. And that's it for my blush. I'm using this MAC brush, I don't really know what it's called, but it's a 165. And using that color to highlight my face. And I'm just going to start right here and go up. Do a little bit of my forehead. Did you ever finish those problems? You can talk. No. No. And then that's pretty much it. That's what I do. Okay, and just so you know, I already have my primer on. It's the same primer I've been using. It's um, by MAC. It's the Paint Pot in Painterly. And this is a brush by Sonia Keshek, which you can get at Target. They're really good. And it's number 28, I think. So I'm just going to use, um, what is it? Blank type and put it all over my lid as a base. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do right now. Is that close enough? No. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Wedge by MAC and I'm going to put it in the crease of my eye using this e.l.f. contour brush. It was like $3. You can get it at Target too. 
So I'm just going to put this right here in the crease. All right there. And then after that, I'm going to be using cork, same brush, and then putting that in my crease as well, just to darken it up and add a little bit more depth. Don't I sound cool? Depth. And after that, I'm just going to add, I mean, blend it out a little bit. Where's my, oh, there it is. Using this brush by Sigma. I love these brushes. You should go get them, and they're not that expensive either. It's a small tapered blending, E45. I love it. So I'm just blending that out. use that E45 blending brush and then just use that color I showed you. It's called Creme Brulee. And I'm going to use that as a transition color in my crease too and blend it out. And I love this color. It's so pretty. It's by Makeup E too. That's it for the eyeshadows. There. You going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm using this e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush, and this is what I use to do my cat eye every time. It's cheap too, $3. Um, I have a lot of them. They're really good brushes. So I'm going to do this and just do a small cat eye because in the picture, hers aren't really very what is it, dramatic. They're very natural looking. I mean, if you can call a cat eye natural. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start right here in the middle. And then go outwards. Every time I do this, I feel like my eyelid is so wrinkly. Get Dip that bad boy in again. And since I'm not doing, I'm not going to do it all the way down right here to my tear duct. I'm just going to stop probably like right here. So I'm not going to make the line, I'm going to make the line um, get tinier, I guess, as I go. By the way, it's super easy if you wet the brush before. Now that that's done, I'm going to start on the flick and then fill everything else in. I'm going to start right here at the corner of my eye and then just go a little bit up. Like that much. And then I'm going to fill it in. And since it's the same thing, doing it on that side, I'm just going to do it real quick and then show you the rest of the stuff, okay? So I'm just going to use this for my mascara. I heard it's really good. I just got it and I'm testing it right now. I'll probably do a review on it later. But everyone knows how to put mascara on, so I'm not going to record that part, okay? So in the picture that I'm going to be using as a base is 
kind of a natural color. It's not that mauve color that you often see her with. A lot of people say uh, she uses whirl fur, but um, I'm using the more naturalish picture that I liked. So I'm using natural Nick, uh, NYX lip pencil and Kinda Sexy by MAC. This is one of my favorite colors and it, I wear it almost every day. So first I'm gonna line my lips the way I normally do and then I'm gonna fill my lips in. Before you put it on, make sure you have like lip gloss or chapstick. I prefer chapstick just so your lips don't feel all dry whenever you put lipstick on. And now that that part's done, she usually makes her lips look bigger and fuller. And what I'm just going to do is line the part like above my lip just a little bit. You don't want to do it too much because then it's really obvious. So I'm going to start with just above where my natural lip ends. I don't really do much to the bottom line. So that's the first part and then I'm just gonna mix it with Kinda Sexy. Okay, so that's it. That's my video. I hope you like it. I hope you learn from it and that I'm actually teaching y'all something. Because why watch these videos if you're not going to learn anything, I guess? And... Hmm. Oh yeah. Hit like on my video and subscribe down below. Um, all the products will be listed down below too. And let me know if you like it. Oh, and again, this is inspired by Kylie Jenner. It's not the exact look, so... I don't know, just don't think I'm trying to be the exact copy of it, so that's about it.